Here we have a bottle and supreme boiler. It's failing to ignite. Gas burner's not lighting. It's going through its ignition face. The ignition light, which this is the one we're going to put on, has turned red and flashes. Common fault on these is this bulb burns out and fails so you have to replace it so now I'm going to show you how you replace it I've already switched the electric off to this one so I'm going to show you how to get in and how to change it so what we do is we then take this Phillips and undo the centre screw above here which will release this out of cover in here and we're going to just gently slide this away which then shows us where the board is, the board is actually here in order to get it you've got to undo this screw up here which we're about to do now it's just on here When this screw comes out, the whole section here will pull forward. Basically, you've got two little clips which clip on the side of the boiler. This is where the new part comes, and on the bolt there, on the bolt, you've got this, you've got a pin there and an arm. And when this is on the boiler, if you can, if you can come around here, John, when it's on the built boiler, the pin there slides forward. Well, rather than take all this off and undo all this wiring, I'll show you the quick way of uh, changing it. On here, obviously this is your new board. We now pull this off and undo this. So we've got this ready. And as you're gonna see, this is quite an easy thing to do. In here, we've got an earth on the back. Should just pull off. You go around the film that John. Mm. Yeah. Alright, you've got an earth here, which you pull off. We've got another one here, if you can see it, which you pull off. So a black one on the bottom, earth on top, and then you've got three multi plugs up here. We'll undo this first. We we'll take this and this. Normally you can do it with your finger, but you might have to use a spanner because this allows this to slide out. But usually, if you take you can, if you take these two off the back, it allows you to get this, these multi plugs, which you can then ping out and you can't get them wrong when you put them back so only go one way so now we have all the wiring off now this is the old fouled board so that can go directly into the bin it's absolutely useless now we've got our new one so now we're going to pop this one in by same process as what we just taken that one off with. I just put in the multi clips straight back in. Right, so 
now we've got the four, the four multi blocks in. And now, because you've got to slide this back in. The only way to slide it back in, let's shoot a look, it's got a groove there and a groove on the bottom. On the back of here, you've got a groove, so you've literally got to get it into them grooves, like so, and slide the buckle all the way in. Pop in this back on. As you can see, I'm a bit cack handed with my fingers. And we can put the switch back on. around the back and we can put the ignition wire which is the black one back on the bottom your wiring remembering what I said with the pin and the arm if you can locate it you'll see them here they're a bit fiddly to get on but once you, oh, once you found them Jesus these are a pig to get on there Jesus. Oh, it's Jesus, I put it in the wrong place, that's what I want to dig. Right, so that's back on now. Now, we pop in the screw. turn the power on. Now because we've had the power off the thermostat unit just needs resetting to start it up. There we go so I'm going to set this to manual with my heating on and my water on. I'm going to put my thermostat up to 25 and then I'm going to go and start my boiler. We're showing an amber. Now when I reset, just reset it. It should now kick up and fire up. Voila, one repair boiler. Now, as you can see, I've got the old PCB board in my hands. Now if you look carefully on the side, you can see the part number. The part number is there, and this is for obviously a back seal part of them because basically they're the same people. But the part number is located just there. Now, if you want to replace this immediately yourself and you're in desperate, they're going to be around about two hundred and fifty pounds from your local local branch, basically. Like, but if you're prepared to wait and you want to go on eBay or Amazon, you can get these for around about one hundred and fifty pound. They normally take a couple of days to turn up on eBay from my experience if you pay the extra for the quick delivery. And basically you can save yourself a lot of money on your boiler engineer. Hope this video has been helpful. Um, 
Happy plumbing. <laughs>